So this is going to be about infix to postfix notation for algorithms. For infix, we're going to be looking at problems like this, and then we're going to convert them to problems like this. And we can see that that's the postfix version of it. So now going back up here, if we get an operand, we just write it down when we convert it. An operand is going to look something like this. However, if we get an operator, which is something like these, we are going to do one of two things. If the stack is empty, we are going to push it into the stack. And the stack is kind of something like this. Just think of stack and queues. We're going to push it onto the stack if it is empty. So whatever we have, like if we have the symbol, we are going to just push it to the stack. However, if our stack is not empty, we're going to look at the operator. And if it is lower or equal in precedence to what is on top of the stack, then we are going to pop whatever we have that is greater than it and display it. And then we're going to keep doing this until we reach something that is greater than what we're being passed in. If we have open parentheses, then we push to the stack. And if we have closed parentheses, we are going to pop and display everything up until the open parentheses, but not include the open parentheses. However, we're going to pop that off of our stack also. If we have nothing else in our list, then we are just going to display everything. Now, looking at these problems, we can convert them. So for the A plus B, we know that we have this operand. So we're just going to write it out. We have A. And then we have this plus here. So it's going to go into our stack. Next, we have our operator B. So we're going to have AB. And then we're going to have the plus. And the reason why we have a plus and nothing else is because now we are at the end of our expression. And since we are at the end, we are just going to pop everything off of our list. So this is not going to be in our list anymore after we pop it. For the next problem, we have A plus B times C. So we're going to have A as our operand. We have this plus, so we're going to store it in our stack. Then we have our B, and then we have this multiplication. Well, multiplication has a higher precedence than the plus, so we're just going to write it in the stack. Next, we have our operand C and we're just going to put it here. And since we have nothing else left, we're just going to pop everything off of our stack. So we have the multiplication and then the plus, and that's how we get it over there. For the next one, we have A times B plus C. We're looking at these, we have the operator A, we have the operand A, so we're gonna have A here. We're going to make our stack, it's going to have the multiplication inside of it. Then we are going to have our B, and then we have this plus. Well, plus is lower than our multiplication. And if it's lower than or equal to, we are going to pop whatever we have into our stack until whatever is greater than what we have right here that we're comparing it to. So we are going to put this multiplication inside of here, and then we're gonna cross it out here. And since there's nothing else, we're going to put the plus in here. We're going to have to have the C. And since there's nothing else after this plus that we've done dealt with and the C that we've dealt with, we are just going to pop the plus. And that's how we would get the equivalent postfix expression. Now we're going to look at the next one. Now this is pretty cool because we have parentheses here. So we're going to look at the parentheses. We're going to put the first one in our stack. Then we have the operand A. And after this we have a plus. Well, plus is higher in order than the parentheses. So we're not going to do anything. We're just going to put it in the stack. Then we have our B. And now we have our closed parentheses here. And once we hit the closed parentheses, we're just going to pop everything off of our stack until the open parenthesis. So all we have is a plus, pop that off, get rid of that, and then we get rid of the open parenthesis. Now we have a multiplication, so we put that on our stack. Then we have a C. And now, since we have nothing left, we're just going to pop off our multiplication. So we're going to have it like this. And that's how we get the equivalent. Looking at the next one, A minus B times C plus D with multiple parentheses. So for this one, we have our first parenthesis here. Our stack is going to start something like this. We have the first parenthesis, then we have the operand A. So we have A, and then we're going to push C, and then we're going to push the negative into our stack. We have B, and then we have this closed parenthesis. So we're just going to pop the negative, and we're going to get rid of that, and then get rid of the open parenthesis. Now we're going to deal with the next one. We have a multiplication. So we're going to put this in here, and then we have the parenthesis. We are going to have our plus, and then we are going to have D. Then we come across the closed parenthesis, so now we're just going to pop everything. We're going to pop the plus, then we come to the open parenthesis, and then we come to the multiplication. 
So that is how we would get the equivalent postfix expression. Lastly, we have a plus b, and then this is in parentheses, times c minus d with the division e plus f. We are going to write our stack over here, just because it's a little bit bigger. We're starting this off with an open parenthesis, and then we have the operand a, then we have a plus, which is greater than our open parenthesis, so we're gonna put this in here. And then we have our b, and then we have the closed parenthesis, so we have to pop everything in here. We're gonna get rid of the plus, and we're going to actually put it here in our postfix expression. We're gonna pop the parenthesis, but we are not putting it in here. Now we are going to have our multiplication popped in here, pushed in here, and then we have the open parenthesis. So we're putting this in here, and then we're gonna have our c, and then we're gonna have a minus here, and then we're going to have our d, and then we're gonna have the division, which is greater than or minus, so we're just pushing it in here, and then we are going to have our e. And then we have our closed parenthesis right here, and since we have our closed parenthesis, we're just going to pop our stack, so we have this popped out and this popped out. So we're gonna have a division and then a negative. And then we have the parenthesis popped out. And the reason parentheses popped out but not put in is because that's just one of the rules. And next, we have a plus out here. And we would put it up here, a plus. But when we compare it to our multiplication down here, our multiplication is greater than our plus. So we are actually going to have to put this here. And then we are going to put our f. And lastly, since there's nothing else in the list, we are just going to pop the plus and anything else in our stack. However, there's nothing else in the stack. So this is going to be the postfix equivalent expression. Another exercise is this one, and we are given a chart on how it works right here. Now for this one, we are going to draw our stack again. We would always draw a stack. We are going to have our A. We are going to push our plus. Then we're gonna have our B. We are going to push our multiplication because it's greater in precedence than the plus. And then we're going to push the parenthesis, and then we are going to have our c, and then we have our negative here, and so we are just going to push this into our stack because it's greater than the parenthesis, and then we're going to print out our d, and then we have the closed parenthesis because we have the closed parenthesis, we just have to pop everything inside of the until the open parenthesis. So we're going to pop the negative, we pop the open parenthesis, and since there's nothing else left in here, we're going to pop everything else. So we have the multiplication and the plus. This answer is equivalent to the final answer written here. Now we have this longer question, and so we're going to draw out our stack right here. First we have our f, we have our equal sign, and this equal sign is going to get pushed into our stack. Then we have our a, and then we have our multiplication. Our multiplication is greater than equals, so this is just gonna be pushed into the stack. Then we have c, so we're gonna write this down here. We have this, and this is going to be pushed to our stack because it's greater in precedence than the multiplication. And then we have b, and then we have this operator, this division sign. And this is actually less than our operator here, and it's equal to this one. So that means we are going to have to pop these two, and that's because of this. So we're going to pop out that, and we're going to pop this out. And then we can cross these out, and then since the division is greater than the equals, we can push this in here. Next, we are going to have our p, and then we are going to have a minus. Now, the minus is smaller or less precedent than the division. So because of the minus right here, we are going to take the division, we're gonna pop it and put it in here, and then we can put our minus here because it's still greater than the equal. We're gonna continue on, because then we have our q, we have our multiplication, which we can push in here because it's greater in precedence than the negative. And then we have our g, and then we have the caret. So that is greater than our multiplication. That's just gonna go in here. Then we have our open parenthesis. So for our open parenthesis, we then have an h, and then we have a minus. And then we have our b. So that is what the current expression will look like. And then we have this closed parenthesis. So we're going to have to pop everything until the open parenthesis. We're popping the negative, and then we pop out the open parenthesis. And since there's nothing left here, we're just going to pop everything else. So we pop this symbol, this one, our negative, and then our equal sign. And that is what our expression will look like. Our last problem is going to be this one, and we're just doing it. It's another exercise. 
So we have our one. We then have the division symbol, which we are just going to push in here. And then we have this five, so we're just going to write that out. We have this plus right here. The plus is less than our division in precedence. So we're actually going to take this. We are going to pop this out, the division, and then we are going to write our plus in here. Next, we have our six, which we can write out here. We have our negative, and the negative is equal to this plus. So we have to pop the plus, and then we can write the negative. So we'll have a plus here, and then a negative inside of our stack. Then we are going to have the four. We will have the plus right here, and the plus is equal in precedence to the negative. So we're going to take the negative, pop it out, and then we're going to have our plus. Then we have this 2, and then we have this multiplication, which is greater than our plus, so we can just write it in here. Then we have our 9, then we have our carrot, and lastly we have the 3. Nothing else in here, so we can just pop everything in our stack. We have carrot, multiplication, and then a plus. And after we do that, we have popped everything in our stack, and that is our expression.